Hello guys, in this video, I will explain the solution for the given problem that is add and multiply the following numbers without converting them to decimal. The first part of numbers are binary numbers 1011 and 101. The second part of numbers are hexadecimal numbers 2e and 34. Now the addition for the first part that is the binary addition 1011 plus it should be added to 101. Now, we should add these two binary numbers starting from LS. The first number we named it as argand. The second number is add end. When we add these two numbers, should start from LSP 1 plus 1. When we add even number of 1s, then the sum will be 0. If we add the odd number of ones, the sum will be one. And the number of carries depends on the number of pair of ones in addition. Now let us start the addition starting from LSP 1 plus 1, evening from LSP 1 plus 1, even number of ones. Then the sum will be zero. The carry means number of pair of ones. Here, one and one, this is one pair. So that one carry will be forwarded to the next bits. 1 plus 1 plus 0, that means 2 1s. We are adding 2 1s. Again, even number of 1s, the sum will be 0. And 1 1 means 1 pair of 1s, so that be, the carry will be added to the next bits. <laughs> Again, we have even number of 1s, that's why the sum will be 0. And 1 1 means 1 pair, so that 1 carry will be forwarded to the next bit position. Now, it is 1 directly, we should write. This is the final sum. Similarly, we can perform the multiplication of two binary numbers 1011 which is multiplying with 101. The first number we named it as multiplicand. The second number is multiplier. To perform this binary multiplication, when we multiply multiplier with the multiplicand, the resultant will be either 0 or 1 only. To perform this binary multiplication, let us follow the multiplication truth table as 0 into 0 equal to 0, 0 into 1 equal to 0, 1 into 0 equal to 0, 1 into 1 equal to 1. That means these two are input bits. The product will be either 0 or 1. Now, we have process starting from LSP of the multiplier. The LSP of multiplier is 1. When we multiply this 1 with the multiplicand, the same number will be obtained 1, 0, 1, 1. Now, move to the next bit, 0. When we multiply the multiplicand with a 0, the total product will be 0. That means we shift towards the left side, 0, 0, 0 and 0. Again, move to the next bit position, 1. When we multiply the multiplicand with this 1, then the same number will be repeated. That is 1, 1, 0, 1. We should add all these partial products to get the final product. Starting from LSP, this is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, odd number of 1, 0 plus 0 plus 1, odd number of 1, sum is 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 means even number of 1s, the sum will be 0, and 1, 1 means 1 pair, so that 1 carry is forwarded to the next position, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, odd number of 1, again, there is no carry here, and 1 is the 1 directly, we can write, this is the final product value for the multiplication of two binary numbers. Let us come to the second part of the question, that is addition and multiplication of hexadecimal numbers. Let us start with the addition of hexadecimal numbers, and take the given numbers 2e plus 3, 4. When we add e with 4, that means 14 plus 4, the resultant sum is 18. It is not a hexadecimal digit because the hexadecimal digits 0 to 9 and a to f. f means 15. This is the last value. Now, 18 is not a hexadecimal digit so that we have to convert it as a hexadecimal digit by subtracting the number of 16s available in 18 resultant value is 2. This 2 represents the sum and the number of 16s that represents the carry. So we should write this sum at this place and the number of carries should be forwarded to the next position digits. That is 1. 1 plus 2 plus 3. This means 6. The resultant value is 62 with the base 16. This 16 is the radix or base of a number system. This is the sum of the hexadecimal numbers.
Now let us move to the multiplication of two hexadecimal numbers. Let us rewrite the given two numbers. 2e is multiplying with 34. Let us start the multiplication process starting from LSP of the multiplier. When we multiply 4 with e, e means 14. 14 into 4 equal to 56. This is also not a hexadecimal digit. We have to convert into hexadecimal digit by subtracting the number of 16s available in 56. That means 3 into 16, 48. So 56 minus 48 which is equal to 8 is the difference. This 8 is the partial product and the number of carries are 3. So this carry is added to the next bit position. Then we should write 3 at this place. When we multiply 4 with 2 then it becomes as 4 to 8. 8 plus 3 that is 11. 11 means this is a hexadecimal digit but its equivalent value is B. Alphabetic letter is B. So that we have to write it as B. Now move to the next bit position and delete the previous carry. When we multiply E with 3 that means 14 into 3 equal to 42. This is also not a hexadecimal digit. We have to convert it into hexadecimal digit by subtracting the number of 16. So that means 2 into 16, 32. So 42 is having only two 16. The remaining is 10. This is the difference. 10 means its equivalent hexadecimal digit is A. So that we have to replace 10 with A. Now we should write this value as a partial product starting from one bit position towards left side that is a here now two means this is the carry should be forwarded to the next bit position here now we should multiply three and two three twos are six six plus two eight now eight is the hexadecimal digit we should write it directly as it is now we should add these two numbers then it becomes as 8 b plus a b means 11 a means 10 then the sum is 1 2 21 again this is not a hexadecimal digit again we have to convert into hexadecimal digit now it should be subtracted only one time which is equal to 5 is the answer now this 5 is the sum and the number of carries which is equal to 1 it should be forwarded to the next bit position this is your resultant value 958 with the base 16 this is the final product of hexadecimal numbers this is the complete solution for the given problem of part a and part b thank you